turd and more white people fucking started saying, oh, well, that's just a game. I'll say this. The, I love the BLM movement. I hate the organization. Well, this, this is my question to you I guys right here. here. The, the right. idea of it, but the organization, yeah. Hold on one second, Danny Lynn. So Kyle Rittenhouse, essentially, right now, is a right-wing darling, right? He goes to college campuses. He's going around. He's on tour. He has a $2 million net worth, first of all. Let's just start there. Why is he rich? So I want to discuss the fact that the police were caught funding his GoFundMe to get him out of jail. They sent mass- they, they did it from their work account, which is the most idiotic thing ever. It was tied to their work email. They sent Kyle Rittenhouse money while he was in jail. And then he gets out of jail. And Charlie Kirk brings him on Turning Point USA. He's on stage uh, for conservative conventions. Why do you guys think that the right has embraced Kyle Rittenhouse as a celebrity? Not only that, uh, recently, sometime last year, last holiday season, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was the prize at a conservative convention where you would put money in, 300 bucks for a raffle. And if you won... You got to go to the range with Kyle Rittenhouse and essentially act out your fantasy. Like, I feel like all of these things should add context to the fact that he got off. Not, not, not to mention the case, and we're going to get to that in a minute. But what do you guys think about the fact that right now, Kyle Rittenhouse is literally a celebrity for right wingers? And why is he a celebrity? This country is racist. I mean, I don't know what other way to put it. it I it, believe so I'm going to rotate some people. of you guys out, but I'm going to rotate some more people in. I got too many requests coming in. All right, so we're going to keep the conversation going. I say when it came to the police um, funding him, if he is part of that um, group that you showed in the picture, that we know that group kind of owns majority of the police force in America. <laughs> And um, that could tell you why he uh, got funded. But I just saw an article. He um went to like a university and was basically having a whole speech about gun violence and why Black Lives Matter is basically irrelevant. <laughs> and a lot of students were basically saying, "Why is he an icon?" So they really were. Uh, Mo, where kids? What do you think about this? Hey, thanks for t- uh, allowing me on your live first, uh, and it's, it's pronounced Mo Wells Kids. However, uh, I do have a degree in criminology. I'm a retired U.S. Army veteran as well, and I watched this case, and uh, I'm not going to start off by playing the race card because that's not the way I was raised. However, me looking at this case, it was, uh, I looked at his social media pages, just like someone else said, that he had a lot of... Um, bad stuff on his media page even before he ever committed this incident um he had his social media page said bro i just want to be famous he has that um tool that can use and uh you know where he was where the incident happened at where he um unfortunately committed uh an act where an individual was unalived, another one was severely hurt. Uh, none of them look like me. So you can't say he did it because of the color of these people's skin. However, also I'm a licensed insurance agent. And um, if someone breaks in your home, okay, and start taking your personal items out of your house, and say you do have something to protect yourself with, once that person leaves your house, and you unalive that person outside and they were no longer a physical threat to you, you're gonna get in trouble for it. With Mr. Rittenhouse, uh, he took a weapon, him and I think 13, 14 of his friends, they were making derogatory comments toward people that look like us, you know, myself, and people that look like him. They had these weapons on. They were supposedly, like I heard someone else on this live say, was protecting a friend's business. Well, that alone, they were guilty because insurance protects your cars, your business. Gun, excuse me, weapons that can unalive you are not supposed to be used to protect property. That's why you have insurance policies, okay? Uh, The whole going to court 
He lied on the police report. He lied on the stand. He claimed he was a firefighter. He was not a firefighter. He claimed he was an EMT. He was taking courses. He was not a licensed EMT. If you're there to save lives and put out fires, you don't need weapons like I have being retired to go to a Black Lives Matter, which I don't like that organization just because of what it stood for in the beginning. That was used to pit blacks and whites against one another. Anybody on here should agree with that. Now, what he did with his friends, and that's the three percenter sign that he was putting up, which I've seen him do that before on social media and different things like that. The kid went down there with one thing in mind, which would be a Billy Bad behind. And then that happened. And if you're trying, if you're defending yourself, that's one thing. But when you bring things to something, uh, to a protest that shouldn't be, you open up cans of worms that shouldn't even be open. I believe the judge was helping him when he started lying and he turned to the judge and put on this fake cry. If you're remorseful about something that you've done, I've never been to jail. But when I've seen other people get out, because I'm a minister, I've helped people once they got out of jail. Most people that are remorseful for what they've done, yes, they want to get a hamburger or something that they were deprived of. Most people don't go to bars and start celebrating and become an icon for unaliving somebody. And the people that are behind him should be ashamed of themselves. And like I said, this isn't about me versus him, his color versus mine. I know had I done that and other people look like me or Latinas look like me, we're going to prison. Regardless of if we were just like him, he carried a weapon, he carried that thing across four state lines. He did not live in Kenosha. His dad did. He lived in a whole other state. So I want to pause you right there. Let me pause you for a second. Yes, I want to say, I, I, want, I, want, I want to stop you for just, just to say that I disagree that if someone looked like us, because I think we look the same, just so you know. Because uh, I think if someone from who looks like us did it for like a right wing cause, like a conservative, like a Candace Owens kind of person, they would let them off. I doubt it because I voted. I'm, I'm, I'm a. How can I say this? I'm not an extremist by any means. I'm a patriot. Okay. And I like I made a mistake years ago and I voted for the other guy, you know, the Obama guy years ago because I didn't do my research. So I voted for him. And honestly, it was because, you know, everybody else was thinking he was going to do something because he looked like us. We already seen the way that. Went. However, but he, everybody was guilty. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> so uh, fast Anthony, forward, Bob, what do you think about the prompt? I, I personally don't I personally don't see why he should feel bad about what he did. Because the way I look at it, and there's plenty of videos to support it, one dude was about to beat him with a skateboard while one was trying to pull the gun away from him. And that right there... Careful, careful, careful with that yeah. word. Don't, don't use that word. It's, it's what he was saying that led up to it. That's what people are not I catching. Mean, yeah, but... It's what he was doing. His way. friends, and I don't mean to cut nobody off, but his friends that he called his friends, none of them look like us. They I, were, I'm, it, not, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not saying, listen, listen, hold on, hold on. There were 13 or 14. All of them had weapons. Nobody else did. And they felt threatened. I wouldn't like that if I'm going to a sure. peaceful. Understandable. Like you see with some of the stuff going on at the colleges. And, and even when I see, um, you know, people who have a God-given, an able right to do the Second Amendment thing. And they go to these, you know, Congress halls or wherever they go. And they'd be a m bunch of them. More power to you. But I think you don't need to take that kind of hardware into places like that because guess what something bad is going to happen period point blank there are caucasian militias there are latino and you know black militias you don't want to have that kind of fire but everybody's not properly trained and like i said uh, i call them fire sticks we'll just leave it like that fire sticks go unalive people it's stupid people with the fire sticks that's going to unalive somebody okay i'm just saying i thought that a lot of the, the you know, there are, there are several other cases, but we're going to stick to his, but several other cases involving people that don't look like me, that you can clearly see they unalive somebody and they got away with it.
because there are certain families. And when I study criminal law, I was told that, and, and forgive me, that when a Caucasian person hits a certain age, they fall into what's called a protected class. Rittenhouse, for some reason, fell into that class, and he wasn't nowhere near that age. He got automatic protection. I don't know where he got the money to pay these attorneys from. I don't, I don't get it. But there were kids here in Kansas City. They did something similar to what he did. In self-defense, all four of them went to prison. And I literally mean they were defending themselves. This never even made mainstream media. But they looked it's like me. There's and two it, types of classes it, for them. Yes. It's, the, it's, it's the cow's class with the yes, rest you know, like that. Yeah. And you got the ones that can plead insanity. And then all of a yeah. sudden, they get real, no real punishment. Oh, because they're insane. Now, y'all, 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 that, remember you know. the, y'all remember the Batman Forever, the guy with the red, the, 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 the Caucasian guy with the red hair went in there and unalived all yes, those sir. people. You see how long it took for them to even do anything. He was in an insane asylum for a long time. I'm just saying. People think, you know, it's not about black and white. It's not. <clears throat> when they wrote the Constitution in 1776, people... We, the people of the United States, wasn't my people. And I'm not, like I said, I wasn't raised around all blacks. My block has been diverse and my whole life is, you know, from having, you know, Caucasian sister-in-laws. I have three of them. I have mixed nieces and nephews. I love everybody. I've served alongside defective Russians in the U.S. military. My thing is this. The law wasn't written for people look like me back in the day. That's why you can see uh, traffic stops go one way for people that don't look like me. The roads. Yes. And then uh, people that look like me, you stand on the same principles, stand on the Constitution, ask for badge numbers, ask for supervisors, and they refuse it. So yank them out of the car, break the door, you know, the window, tase them. And then all I hear is people saying, why didn't you comply? Y'all don't ever comply. Why should we have to be the ones always to comply? But that's why, that's just my opinion. Anybody's feel free, you disagree, I'm not going to get upset at you. But my, my opinion is, it's because the color of his skin, he had a lawyer. I don't know where these lawyers come from, but he got a lawyer. This lawyer was able to go in the courtroom. The judge even got on the prosecuting uh, lawyer and made him, literally told him to shut up like he was a kid. And to me... That was a never, it wasn't a fair trial, and for him to get out of jail. So do you think it was self-defense or murder? I think it was murder, sir. That's just me. It's just the stuff that led up to it. It was in his heart. If you look at his social media page, he had that that stick at 16. He said his, and I think it was you stated that a parent, and you're right, too, that a parent can literally, um, because Missouri laws, a parent can buy, you know, sticks, whether they're long ones or short, right? Well, and you can literally give them to your children. They can't purchase them until, like, long sticks until they're 18. And then the short supposed to be outside with them unless they're hunting with them. Oh, yeah. Sir? Yeah, they're not supposed to be outside wandering in the open with them. No, 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 no. No, that's, that's totally, that's called open carry. Missouri and Kansas are open. That, does, that, does open carry, carry go towards minors? Or is it for no, sir. It's, 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 if a parent gives, I've got uh, an 11-year-old here. I can literally give her the short stick in a holster and we can go because I train them at the at the range. Okay? They go in with them on their hips. Yes. And there's no law against me giving them to them. Now, they can't go to the store and purchase them, but I can give them to them so when we go to the range, they can train with them. All right, hold on one second. I want to steer the conversation. Hold on one second. I want to steer the conversation really quickly here. Um, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got a bunch of requests. So I'm going to move some of you guys out. Um, but before I do that, the only reason that Kyle Rittenhouse is not in jail right now is because the pivotal uh, weapons charge was dismissed. Right. And wow. for those who need a refresher, uh, the barrel was considered long enough to be uh, a hunting rifle, even though prior he had said i did not get this for hunting it was considered well, exactly. long enough uh, one second it was considered long enough to be a hunting rifle and therefore the age was uh lowered to 16 because it's a hunting rifle um and therefore he was allowed to have it and it was not against the law so i want to focus on that point there and discuss that for a second 
And I'm going to bring some people on here, okay, guys? All right. Thank but, you. Um, you guys, uh, Mole, why don't you, uh, why don't you start with that? Okay. Now, watch this again. I looked at, like I said, looking at the social media page. His parent didn't buy it. He said his friend bought it for him, who was already 18. And when he turned 18, he said his friend would give it to him. You go back and look at the date he posted that picture with him holding that long stick. He wasn't even 17 yet. He was already 16. He shouldn't have. He lied on his. He lied on the oath about it. He lied on the report about it. Just that alone, he should have been convicted as perjury. And like I stated, anybody else pull that trick if you want. They'll they'll uncover heaven and earth to convict you, especially if I did it. They're going to use all my words when you get the, the Miranda put on you. You know, we studied that. That's why they say you have the right to remain silent. He should have just be to me. He should have just stayed silent. He should have let his attorney do everything. People like me and other people don't look like me can look through his stuff. A lot of people believe he was guilty. I believe he was guilty. I just believe he got a lot of help because he looked like an innocent little kid. He that little face he had. He looked like he didn't belong in jail. They already knew what was going to happen to him. If somebody had sympathy for his face, you know, just like the picture we're looking at now, how he turned around, he doesn't even look remorseful. He got a half smirk on his face. Like he know he's not going to nowhere. Like nothing's going to happen to him. He felt safe in that courtroom. And that judge, it was almost like a grandfather defending his grandson. So I think the weapon that he had, oh, excuse me, the stick that he used, I think he should have used all of his words against him, just like they were supposed to. Him crossing them county lines with it. And I think he was guilty. And I think them changing the charge was was I don't think it was fair. Because they wouldn't do it for they wouldn't do it for you. And you're the host. I guarantee you they wouldn't do it for you. All right, I, I'm, I'm going to pause you guys for one second. I'm having some sort of technical difficulty here. So I'm just going to restart the stream. Uh, my channel is The News Cat. I'm just going to restart it. It's going to be right back up in literally two seconds. So make sure you guys come on back. I'm just going to restart the stream. Mobiles, I want to continue this conversation. Um, the News Cat. I'm restarting the stream, guys. Thank you.